Managing DNS can be a huge headache because of the variety of domain registrars you'll encounter as we acquire more and more CarePlan clients. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you the absolute best way to manage your DNS for all of your CarePlan clients, including your own personal projects as well. The key benefits we're going to cover here is, first of all, the single pane of glass management, second of all, the performance improvements that we'll gain, and thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, CNAME flattening. Make sure you stick around for number three because that's really where the magic happens in this particular video. Starting with the single pane of glass management, we're gonna use Cloudflare to manage all of our clients' DNS moving forward. This means changing the name servers on all of your clients' domains to point towards Cloudflare, but this is not as scary or as time consuming as it sounds. When you go through the setup process, Cloudflare is smart enough to scan the existing DNS records and offer to automatically import those for you, so it's super clean and easy. You can switch the name servers at the registrar, which means that there's going to be absolutely no downtime for your client. The other important thing is that we're not introducing any extra costs for any of the stuff we're going to talk about in this video because it's all done through the Cloudflare free plan, which is amazing. The Cloudflare free plan is incredibly generous and it's more than adequate for those of us doing client facing website work, whether you're creating small brochure websites or high traffic e-commerce stores, it doesn't matter. What we're talking about in this video will still work and in fact benefit greatly from. If you're a little bit skeptical, I encourage you to go read about the free plan and see all the amazing benefits that it comes with. So not only have we introduced next to no cost, but we also now have a single pane of glass for us to manage all of our clients' domains, while still leaving the ownership with the client. They still own the domain, we've just simply pointed the name servers to our Cloudflare account. I'm sure we've all encountered that scenario where we need to make a change really quickly and ideally without the client knowing any better, but without that password that's now expired for that one random domain registrar, we can't do it. And so it just creates a whole lot more headache. Now that's not gonna be a problem because the domain's DNS is inside of your Cloudflare account. That may sound a little bit concerning, but it is totally possible to move what they consider a website, just simply a domain in your account from one Cloudflare account to the other super easily. Next up comes the performance gains we're gonna get with managing DNS through Cloudflare. So there's numerous different pieces to the website performance puzzle, and DNS is really a way to level this up, especially when you're using Cloudflare. If you've spent time optimizing your website's performance with good hosting, a builder that outputs clean code, using performance plugins and so on, you might think that there's not a whole lot more that you can do, but really this is a way that you can take it to the next level. The free plan also includes a bunch of other performance improvements, including their global CDN, there's async JavaScript loading, static content caching, and a ton of other technical geeky stuff that if you're interested, you can go read about. But no matter how big or small your site, you're going to benefit from these. In fact, the bigger your site or the more traffic that your site gets, the more you're going to reap the benefits of this. You might consider, well, my clients are local sites and they have local traffic, but there's things to consider in terms of benefits there. So the likelihood that somebody is visiting that website from their phone is very high. And the other likelihood is that that cell provider is actually sending that connection from an entirely different city. I'm here in Florida and when I browse online from my phone cell carrier here, it looks like I'm coming from Louisiana. So for me, if I'm using this Cloudflare system on all of my client sites, the likelihood that I'm going to be sharing a data center with both my cell carrier and with Cloudflare in Louisiana is much, much higher. So that website performance is actually gonna be even faster. That's of course one specific example, but there's a wide variety of situations where even a local site with local traffic is going to benefit from these free enhancements. There's also other improvements that you're gonna get like DDoS protection, bot blocking, and all kinds of other stuff that's included in this free plan as well. For my own sites, I'm seeing huge performance improvements as I've recently moved to both Cloudflare and Gridpane, and I'm migrating all of my CarePlan clients over there as well. So if you're interested in my thoughts on Gridpane and Cloudflare, there's another video for you to check out up here, or you can click the link in the video description. Like I said though, even if your site is low traffic or locally based, it doesn't matter because you're still going to benefit from everything that we've discussed so far in this video. 99% of the reason this video even exists is because of what Cloudflare offers in the way of a technique called CNAME flattening. So what this means is that if you ever need to make a sweeping change to all of your CarePlan clients, let's say like moving from one web host to another, you know the pain involved in changing that A record on all of those domains across all of your sites 10, 25, 30 times, you've just wasted hours and hours or possibly even multiple days making that change. 
What we can do with CNAME flattening is minimize that down to mere minutes. So you only have to make this change on a couple of A records that you control and not have to worry about changing individual A records across all of your clients. The way that we'll achieve this is somewhat complex, but honestly, once you see it done, you're gonna be like, ah, I get it. Let's suppose we're hosting a few of our care plan clients all on the same server. We're gonna say that their domains are client1.com, client2.com, and client3.com. They all currently have an A record that points to an IP of 100.10.25.40. Now, all three of these clients have different domain registrars, so if you needed to change these, you'd have to log into three different domain registrars, and you'd have to change that A record three different times, one by one. It goes without saying that that's a giant pain in the ass, and if you have to extrapolate that to your entire suite of care plan clients 10 or even 25 times, like I've already said, you're wasting hours or days doing this. And that assumes that you have the up-to-date passwords for all of these accounts, which we know is just not going to be the case, or you're gonna to have to wait for the GoDaddy two-factor authentication or get delegate access. Listen to all the problems that we're already encountering in this hypothetical situation. The other thing to keep in mind is this is not going to be the last time you have to do this. Even if you buckle down and get it all done manually one by one, you're going to have to do this again at some point in the future for a variety of reasons. With Cloudflare, we can take advantage of their CNAME flattening technique, which most domain registrars don't offer. In fact, even big ones like GoDaddy don't allow you to do this. Now, instead of pointing each individual client domain to a specific A record, we can instead point their domains to a subdomain that we designate and control. And that's the technique that allows you to essentially make that sweeping change and only have to change your A record a couple of times. So let me show you what that looks like and how it works. Let's say you have a server that holds 10 or 15 care plan clients and it uses that IP address from before 100.10.25.40. On your agency domain, whose DNS is also managed by Cloudflare, you can create a subdomain called server1.myagency.com that points to that same IP 100.10.25.40. Then on your client's domain, you're actually going to delete the root A record, and instead you're gonna create a CNAME record that is their domain, so client1.com, which points to your subdomain we just created, server1.myagency.com. You can also leave on the Cloudflare proxy because this is just gonna help with the security and all the other benefits that we've already talked about that come included with Cloudflare. What happens here is Cloudflare is actually working down the chain of CNAME records until it finds the IP address and it's setting that as the A record under the hood on your behalf. This is that CNAME flattening technique. And the reason this doesn't work is most other domain registrars don't have this capability. They require an A record pointing to an IP address, which of course won't let you take advantage of what we just described. In my specific real life use case, I have a couple of different subdomains because they're each pointing to different servers. I have one for each of my groups of 10 to 12 care plan clients. I have one for my websites like jonathanjernigan.com. And then I also have one for my development server. So all in all, I have about five subdomains pointing to five different servers. Now, if I need to migrate all of my websites to a whole new web host, or for whatever reason, the server IP needs to change, I only have to go change five A records in one domain that I control. And now recursively, all of my sites have their DNS updated. I don't have to do it manually anymore, which is just amazing. As you can see, the benefits of managing your DNS with Cloudflare are simply unmatched. We've introduced no extra cost and we have a lot of gain. So there's really nothing for you to lose by making these changes that I'm describing. As I've already said, making a sweeping change across all of your clients like this can be extremely hasslesome and time consuming, but now we've really mitigated that and also set us up for future success. Future you won't be left crying at your desk as you make DNS changes to 25 different clients, some of whom don't have the correct passwords and you're waiting on two-step verification text messages that expire by the time you get them. So with that, I've shown you the absolute best way to manage your DNS for both your sites and all of your care plan clients. So now go ahead and jump right into it and get rolling. If you want to learn more about my new hosting and tech stack, click the link in this video up here and you can learn more about my switch to Gridpane and Cloudflare. Overall, I'm super happy and I'll dive into it much more in that video. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.